Hello. Hello. Thank you. Well, howdy, 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 hi, everybody. Again, it's 77 here with the next video. I sat down tonight, opened up the account, and look what I found. The Eritrea. Eritrea. This is an Italian tier one cruiser. And uh, I figured, eh, do a video. Why not? For those of you who are uh, been playing World of Warships for a while and you're used to tier 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, this video is going to do a couple of things for you. First, <laughs> it's not going to do anything remarkable at all. In fact, after watching this, you might say, Oh, God, I'm never going back to tier 1. Uh, I'm not. But, hell, I got the thing rolling, so I might as well go ahead and show you what it can do. So let's get this thing going here. Well, let's see. I don't need to be at 170, 58, 51's fine. All right, here we go. So here she is. She looks like a luxury yacht, doesn't she? By 1960 standards. Luxury yacht these days is worth billions. Anyway, let's take a look at her armor layout. And the first thing we notice is... This ship has no citadel. Now, I don't know how to interpret that. Does that mean the whole thing is going to blow up if you hit it anywhere? Does it mean that it's not likely to get really seriously hurt? Kind of hard to tell. But she has got uh, two guns, front and back. Six millimeter armor thickness. Really? Six millimeter. <laughs> not much. Most people shoot pistols that are 9mm. And there's her armor belt, also 6mm. And superstructure. And foreign plating. Basically 6mm through and through. <clears throat> Not that impressive. 8,100 hit points. Artillery. Two guns, each with, uh, or two turrets, each with two guns. 130mm, a 3.5 second reload. Turret rotation is uh, god-awful. 22.5 for a cruiser, that's just despicable. Minimum dispersion, I'm sorry, maximum dispersion is 90, and well, that kind of sucks too. She only has high explosive. No armor piercing. Pretty bad. <clears throat> Firing range, 9.9. Hmm. But really, slow shells. So she's going to be good at hiding behind islands and lobbing shells way up into the sky. Alright, her AA, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> is surprising. She actually has some. Uh, she's got mid range, two guns. Or, I'm sorry, Two turrets, each one gun. Oh, that's two guns. 40 millimeters. Oh, my God. Yeah, but I notice a 90% chance of a hit on medium range. <laughs> and short range is 85%. So the, the enemy aircraft are more likely to get blown away being further away than closer. Very weird. Maneuverability. Maximum speed 21 knots. Turning circle, 310. Rudder shift time, 5.7. The 5.7 is pretty good. Maximum speed, 21. You're barely going to be out running a battleship. So this thing is... Basically, if you put hamsters on one of those little wheels and got them running in circles, a habit trail. Yeah, that's what this thing's got for horsepower. Habit trail horsepower. Her detectability, you can see there. I'm not going to spend much time on it. All right, let's uh, go ahead and look what we've got for upgrades. Ooh, one whole slot to choose from. And I really had to think about this one. Do I want main armaments mod 1? Knowing that if I lose a gun, I've just lost half my firepower. Or do I want the magazine modification? <sighs> decisions, decisions. 
Hmm. I went with main armaments mod one. No other changes. The uh, captain has no points. That's fine. Now on exterior, I've already outfitted her with flags. I've uh, India Delta and Victor Lima. Now that changed her uh, chance of starting fire to seven percent. It was six. I also gave her a little bit more speed, plus five percent. That takes her up to twenty-one knots. Bone stock, she's twenty. And well, it's the first time I've ever taken this ship out. Might as well give her some camo. Whoops. What was I thinking? Even tier one, I should know better. Mm. Much better. All right. So let's go ahead and slide on ahead in the video. So, here she is, our luxury yacht with guns. You all know this map. You pretty much know what to do. This ship, you probably don't want to go up against bots. If you're going to drive this ship. Oh my god, what a terrible paint job. So, you probably want to go up against real people, if you can find any that are going to be playing at such a low tier. You will probably run into some team killers if you drive this ship. Let's move ahead a bit in the video. What I'm going to do before I move ahead, now look at the mini map here, you can see me. I'm going to cut across here and bring all my guns to bear as well as my broadside and see if any of the bots hurt me. We'll see. Hit a bit. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. Oh, wait a minute. Gunfire. Wow. Those shells went straight up in the air. Hey, just scored my first hit. Very first salvo, scored a hit. How cool. But at 7.5 kilometers away, you can definitely tell this thing is not that accurate. So basically this ship is for the brand new players who have to learn WASD and how to use their mouse and the left shift button maybe tab yeah tab might be good yeah out might be good yeah and maybe learning how to read the mini map otherwise for those of you who are <laughs> been around for a while and played world of warships at tier eight five nine seven ten that sort of thing yeah you probably figured out oh my god not going to tier one for a long, 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 long time. Yeah, I don't blame you. What is amazing <clears throat> is how many points you get in a bot battle when you play this ship. I was expecting maybe two or three hundred. I did a lot better than that. So, all of our team has survived. Enemy has lost three. Oh, sorry, four. We're basically slaughtering them. What's amazing is they're all in one place and not really moving very much. Kind of like me. And we got a lot of our guys charging in. Ooh, can I get this guy? Can I get this guy? Can I get this? Nope. Okay. He's going to get wiped out in a second. God, I'd like to get a kill. Ah, can't get him. 
Cool graphics though. Uh oh, this guy's close. Well, I'll put a couple into the bridge. Rats, I wanted to kill on that one. Oh, finally got one. Yay! So, <clears throat> one of the most uneventful of Tier 1 battles, but look at that, 923. On a Tier 1 bot battle, that's actually really good. 30,618. That's actually pretty darn good for Tier 1. Really surprised that I got that much silver and free XP out of it. 94 hits, sunk 1. <sighs> well, what did I do on the team? Hey, I took first place. Not by much. Oh my gosh, look at Orland. And he survived. Usually those guys are first to die. Orland has no armor. Just like this rubber coating. Anyway, you can see how I did there. It's an unimpressive ship. Nothing remarkable to say. Huh, almost over to point two. But, <clears throat> hey, you know, if you want to go back once in a while, and they're going to give this ship to you for free, so you might as well, you know, take it out for a spin once and then maybe sell it. <laughs> yeah, it's probably worth a lot more to you if you sell it. Anyway, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have fun.